Hi guys, hope you're doing fine. I will be showing you how to make this off shoulder circle top and circle sleeve. It is very easy. I want to say thank you to my subscribers. If you're new to my channel, I share sewing tutorials and pattern drafting. Kindly click on the subscribe button and notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Let's get started. I've got my fabric, measuring tape. I will be using elastic. I've got ruler, curve. I've got pins, shock, and don't forget scissors. This is six yards of fabric, but I got to use about two and a half yards. Take one end of your fabric and fold it to make an A shape, just like I'm doing. The fuller you want, the more you take it forward. I want it like this. For off shoulder, you subtract 4 or 5 inches. I will be using 4 inches for mine. To calculate the length, length minus 4 or 5 inches. And don't forget to add the allowance for your elastic. My elastic is about 0 0.5 inch. I'm going to approximate it to 1.5. That includes the folding of the elastic. Let's begin with the shoulder. I'm working with a shoulder of 14 inches, which gives me seven when divided by two. I'm going to add three inches or even more because of the elastic. That gives me 10 inches. Draw a straight line just like I'm doing. Starting from the line, an off shoulder it's either four or five inches short. I will be using four inches. My total length is 28 inches. That includes the hemming allowance. So 28 minus four, that gives me 24 inches. Don't forget to add the elastic allowance. I'm using an elastic of about 0 0.5 inch. So I'm going to use 1.5 inch because I need to turn in the elastic. 1.5 plus 24 inches gives me a new length of 25 inches. 0.5 inches from the line I'm going to go ahead and measure 25.5 I'm just going to take my tape to the end of the fabric for easy rotation i will take note of what it gives me from the start and continue with that rotating my length then marking it
I'm just going to join the marks. You can use a French curve or freehand. After that, I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to mark the length for the elastic first for easy understanding. My measurement, it's going to start from the new line. Just assume the elastic allowance is off. The arm side, or let me say arm pull measurement I'm working with is 8 inches. Meanwhile, 4 inches is off already. So I'm going to go ahead to mark 4 inches. And then create an armhole curve. And then cut it out. This front piece is gonna be a template for the back. Going ahead to cut out the back. Don't forget to create your front armhole. I will mark 0.75 inch and create the front armhole. That's it for the top. Now I'm going to cut out the sleeve. Just use the same method of taking one end of your fabric, folding it like so. For a bicep of four inches, I'm going to add extra inches because there's gonna be elastic in it. The more inches, the fuller. I want a length of 10 inches plus 1.5 for the elastic. Don't forget to add that. That gives me 11.5.
so i'm going to start from the origin as before and rotate it like i did on the top That gives me the shape I want. After that, I'm going to go ahead to cut it out. I'm going to use this to cut out another sleeve, making it two. I have my two sleeves now. A quick tip for my sleeve. I'm going to go ahead and use one of the top to trace out my armhole area and then cut out We are done with the cutting. So go ahead and sew the sleeve. Same for the top. Join the side seam of the front and back. I will do same for the joining. Let's start with the sleeve. Right sides facing each other. I'm just gonna pin it so you can see what I'm doing. Once done, go ahead and sew it. Same for the other sleeve. Once you're done attaching the sleeves, the next thing will be the elastic. For the 1.5 inch elastic allowance I added, I'm just going to mark it.
first I need to fold a little and then fold again making sure my elastic will be able to go through go ahead and do same for yours using your elastic allowance after that you need to sew on it but don't forget to leave about three inches space open where the elastic is gonna go through okay I finished sewing my elastic allowance and also left a little opening where my elastic can go through to know the length of elastic you need measure the elastic around your shoulder making sure it's tight and then go ahead to cut it out you will need an office pin I'm using two but one is okay I'm going to just attach it at both ends using the pin as a guide I'm going to insert the elastic through the opening take it gently and be careful with the pin so it doesn't open Let me quickly pass it through and then show you when I'm done. I have succeeded bringing out the other end. Go ahead and join your elastic using zigzag stitch. And then cut out the one you don't need okay I have just done that I'm going to just fold it in neatly and then sew it hem the end of your sleeve and the top as well and we are done with this tutorial see you in my next video